Hey guys, my name is Rob, and today I will be showing you how to use the keyword and niche tool within eGrow to identify profitable product niches for your FBA business. Let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is set up the keyword and niche tool with the appropriate filters. On the left side, you can see the list of categories that you can choose from. If you do not have a category in mind yet, you can choose all departments or leave the category selection blank. For this example, I will search within the office products category. Here in the middle column, I can specify numerical thresholds for many criteria, including price, average reviews, number of reviews, estimated sales per month, estimated revenue per month, and the opportunity score. Keep in mind that these filters will produce keywords for which the average value of the metrics for the top 10 products associated with the keyword falls within the specified ranges. For this search, I will set the average price between $20 and $60. I want the average reviews for products associated with each keyword to be four stars or less. This ensures that I will be able to improve upon the products already listed within a particular niche. I want this search to produce keywords with products selling at least 10 units per day on average. Therefore, I will set the estimated sales to at least 300 per month. This is just one example of how you can use these numerical metrics for your keyword and niche research. The column on the right allows you to specify a range for the number of words included in the keyword phrases displayed in the results table. Lastly, you can specify any words that you want to either include or exclude from the keyword results. Now we will conduct the search. The left side of the results table displays the list of keywords that meet the criteria we set prior to the search. As you can see, each keyword phrase includes at least four words. This is consistent with the range that we specified. The Actions column allows you to search for the keyword phrase within eGrow's live Amazon scanner. This will display search results exactly as they would appear on Amazon without the sponsored listings. Next, you can click on this icon to search for the keyword on Alibaba to help with sourcing products in this niche. Simply hover over the graph icon to display Google Trends information for the keyword. This will help you get an understanding of the search volume for the keyword over time. Moving to the right, we can see the opportunity score for each keyword. The opportunity score is a unique algorithm developed by eGrow to give you an idea of how much opportunity exists within a specific niche. The opportunity score ranges from 0 to 10, with a higher score indicating more opportunity within the niche. This column displays average monthly Google search volume for each keyword. Here we can see the number of products competing for each keyword. The results also display numerical information for each keyword, including BSR, price, reviews, sales, and revenue. I'd like to emphasize again that these values are the average of the top 10 listings for each keyword. This last column calculates total revenue as the sum of the monthly revenue of the top 10 products for each keyword. To sort the results by a particular metric, simply click on the appropriate column header. At the bottom of the page, we can see the total number of keywords displayed in the results that meet our search criteria. To change the number of keywords displayed on each page, you can utilize this dropdown. Additionally, you can filter the search results even further by searching for a particular keyword or phrase within the results. Finally, if you would like to manipulate this data outside of eGrow, you can click the export icon. Now the data has been downloaded as a CSV file. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I hope that you have found it helpful and that now you have a better understanding of how to use the keyword and niche tool for your product niche research. Please make sure to comment below with any questions that you have about the keyword and niche tool and click subscribe so that you will be notified when future tutorials are released. See you next time.